Welcome back to episode 4 of Slime Rancher. I am figuring out this game and hopefully things continue to go well. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of getting an idea of what I'm doing still. It's, it, I feel like I might be a bit of a slow learner on this one, but we're figuring it out. Everything will be fine. Yeah. So, I'm just going to go back here and keep trying to get food. Because that seems to be our biggest issue, is not having enough food. Because if we don't have the food to feed something, we can't feed it, you know? And uh, we can't really progress with that particular thing if we can't feed it. There we go. So I'm mostly grabbing carrots because everything I have right now eats carrots. You know? Maybe I should just make a carrot farm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Go away. Okay. Yeah, I think that's how we're gonna be able to progress and continue the best. And hopefully I don't keep getting lost so bad, because I'm so bad with directions. It's kind of atrocious. You know? Well, you guys are learning that. <laughs> uh, Alright. We got like a full amount of everything. So let's go ahead and head back. Wow. What happened here? Take all these plorts. That is free money. Cannot complain about free money. Ooh, what do you eat again? Fruit. I want to figure out what the Gordos do. You've nearly filled that thing up. Entirely. So... I don't know. I'll figure out what they do eventually. We're kind of learning our way around too, which is good. I just tend to be a little slower than most people when it comes to learning my way around places. Alright. So, go ahead and do more feeding of these guys. And then, yeah, I assume them out. We'll just put carrots in for these guys right now. Alright. And then we'll go sell everything. I wonder what all these are. There's different like types of plorts here. So far we've only done these two right here. And those a tiny bit. Alright. This one will not auto gather for me, so I just kinda gotta go for it. These guys back in. That in. This one, however, will gather for me, which is really nice. Alright. There you go. So, we'll go ahead and continue working on them. I think with the rabbits, or the cotton ones, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get the, uh, collector first, because, um... Feeding them does not seem to be the biggest concern. It seems to be collecting the stuff because that's more of an annoyance, in my opinion. There you go. And these guys are happy, it looks like. There you go. These guys are doing their thing too. Alright. Don't know why there's a carrot out here. You guys take it. Alright. Almost had enough money here, but not quite for what I want. Also, let's go ahead and speed them at that speed because the current one seems to be too fast. Okay. 
So, it is nighttime. I don't really like going out at night. It just doesn't feel like it's harder to see everything, which is a pain. So, I'm going to speed things up till morning. Right? Especially because uh, we will have all of these. And then, yep, these guys produced with all of the food that we gave them. So let's go ahead and grab it all. Which I realize I'm gathering just as many of these guys as I grab their, like, product they give. But that's okay. Alright. And then, go ahead and gather from the tree. There we go, we got nine cute berries. Which we will start feeding these guys with. Maybe I shouldn't put them on this one. We don't have a ton of stuff for them, you know? Right. Maybe that will keep things running better. This one's angry. Um. Oh, we have a communication. Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Ogden Ortiz. I hear you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger and maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before. You know I had to ask. Ever since you got me a steady supply of cook Kukadaba fruits. I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights with the far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating Kukadoba pie, Kukadoba souffle, Kukadoba pudding, Kukadoba con carne, Kukadoba con Kukadoba. I'm running out of ideas and willpower. So, if you see something new, please tell me all about it. Tasty trees aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay hydrated out there. Portable water tap. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Alright. Hmm. Oops, I missed one here. Yeah, I get it. We gotta we got feed these guys with it. We got two in there. Oh, we have enough. We have enough money to make these guys auto-fed. No, no, no. We went the flirt collection. There we go. Then I think I'll work on my crops more after that. So, we'll go, uh... Do this. We'll go collect some food for the moment. And then we'll come back. Let's see here. So they want to gather food. That's like the only thing I'm worried about, to be honest. Oh, I'll take those. Thank you. Take that. Oh, this is the area where I can uh, deposit stuff. There we go. Alright. Gather from there. Um. Oh, I got some tabby flirts. Okay. Then we should probably go home. Yeah, let's go home. Which I believe is this way. Right? Yeah, we have to go that way and like around. Oh, it's kind of this way. Close enough. Alrighty. This way. 
Yeah, I'm gonna want one of those warps back home, I think. Pretty quickly. That sounds so nice right about now. Where are you going? Okay, I am going the right way. I wasn't sure. I believe the like cave one is down this way somewhere. I went too far. I want to go feed the cave one. Where's our cave buddy? It's out this way. Not there. Where is it? Oh, right. It's over here. Okay. Oh, he's full. Oh, he turned into a bunch of phosphor slime. Okay. Water here. Don't know what I do with water. Or at least I can't collect it yet. Um, there's a thing here. We don't know anything about it. Oh, this means I can get, like, the phosphorus ones at any time of day because they're in the cave. That makes perfect sense, actually. Hello, space. <laughs> I'm so easy to get turned around. It's so bad. Fun. There you go. So, we are going to go ahead and check over here. They're all hungry. You guys are hungry too. I'll start by giving you guys... Oh. Let's just turn the speed up for that. There we go. Let's toss all the carrots in here. Toss all of this in here. There we go. And this one does collect plorts as well. Oh, that's nice. You can tell it when to do it. Okay. That makes life easier. Alright. So, we can go over here now. Sell all of this. Alright. So I don't fully understand the auto feeder. Because these guys are still hungry. You know? I don't understand how this works. This is obvious. See that? That's obvious. Oi! Out of my garden! I might actually turn these guys into pink ponies and see how it goes. It's dangerous, but it might work out. You know? I think that's all I need to do to turn them into the bunnies. Um, let's go ahead and make it so that this crop is faster. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and grab more carrots. Because carrots are good. They're like the number one thing these guys seem to eat, so... That seems to be my preference at the moment. <laughs> um, but I might as well make it so the guys that can not eat everything can eat everything, you know? Alright. 
Let's see here. Actually, we should be good on carrots. We don't really need to go any further out. We can just go home now. There we go. And off home we go. Let's see. So what I should be able to do is right now, if I feed them, specifically you, you're going to give a port, a plort, which then they're going to eat. And they should like combo out nicely. You guys can have one of those. There you go. Now they're just going to keep turning into bunnies. The pink bunnies. Oh, activate that. Activate this. Let's put two more pink slimes in here. Just to really get that process going better. This might be a bad idea. But we'll find out. You know? Figure it out as we go along. Here we go. That's a bunch more money for us. And it wasn't too, too hard to get. And we can grab what's ready of these crops here. There we go. And then feed him over here. Oh my gosh, these guys are massive though. Look at them. They take up all the space. There we go. That's okay. And these little guys. Where they don't really have a lot. It's okay. This should be good, hopefully. Hopefully they don't get mad at me. Um, let's go ahead and grab some more food. Really just need to change my uh, one farm into a carrot farm. Let's go do that. No, because we don't need it that way. No, we can keep it at those weird berries. All right. These guys are more lucrative. There we go. And then... Toss these in here. Okay. So beyond that, I also want to check in here, because I know I've been slowly tossing stuff in here. Where are we at? <laughs> We have enough for the resource harvester. And I think this could be really useful. So let's try and get those little bits of money we need real quick. Let's see. These guys are happy. Somewhat. These guys are very happy. Right. So that should be enough money. Uh, let's run this again. There we go. And then we should have the money we need. There we go. So then we can start looking at that like, research stuff. Which I think will be very useful. And beyond that... Um, is there anything else I like particularly want at the moment? Um... These guys are useful, but they cost a jelly stone and we don't know what that is yet. So... <laughs> yeah. 
That's not where I meant to go. Alright. Up here. And then we'll sleep till day. There we go. You guys go in here. Look, there's a bunch of things on the ground here, so... We'll be able to feed them now, and hopefully they'll be happier. You know? Still figuring out how to get them fed fully. Okay, you guys get these. Alright. That will be put in there for you guys. And you guys go back in there. There you go. Hey. Oh, they're rowdy. Okay. Whoa, we're at over 20 of these. This is definitely worth it to just do these guys. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this. There you go. Oh no, they're hitting the ceiling though. Are they getting hungry? No, they have plenty of food. I think there's just a lot in there. But I can't really fix them at the moment. So... I'll just go with it. It's fine. You know? Perfectly fine. Beatrix, I've done it. I believe I've cracked the super mysterious code that was sent to me. It was astoundingly complex. I believe that the AI created this code displays a comparable intellect to my own. So very advanced. Almost alien? Oh, you're probably wondering what it said? Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI sent a message that says, Hello. Not much, but pleasantries count for something. More importantly, though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though this mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting. I haven't decrypted it yet, but the code is considerably more complex. So it should be fun. Well, back to work as ever. Alright. So, next episode, we are going to go ahead and figure out about gathering this sciencey stuff which should be pretty exciting and yeah so if you guys have been enjoying make sure you subscribe hit that like button and go follow me over on twitch i stream there four days a week thank you guys so so much for watching this episode and i will see all of you in the next one <laughs>